I knew we had time to pull out of that driveway. As we was pulling out, I looked again and I seen this Tahoe just a flying. And I said, oh my God, we're gonna die. No lights, no sirens. Witnesses attested to that. At the rate of speed that he was traveling in a 30 mile an hour zone, and to see the damage to that car, that wasn't just a fender bender. That was an incredible impact. And we spun several times. And when we came to a stop, I says to my husband, are you hurt? And he couldn't answer me. Dad ended up with a head injury, traumatic brain injury, and was never the same after that. But it's been a long eight years since we lost him. Then we all sat in the living room here and we said, what should we do? I had known of an attorney and he wasn't afraid to take on anything. So we called Robert. We couldn't ask to be treated any better. Every time we met with Bob, from the, from the onset, you, there was a comfort there. There was a comfort that he was living that case with you. So he followed us faithfully all the way through the trial until the very end. Again, there's three words that come to mind. Compassion, dignity, and respect. They tried to take dad down because dad only had eighth grade education. My dad was a truck driver. My dad did heavy equipment, traveled a lot. It was hard to sit there and watch. When Robert would get up, it was like, he took care of them. Bob was that beacon of light for us. We needed to get justification for dad to clear his name, but we also needed to make sure that our community was safe and Bob helped us through that. Dad did not cause that accident. That's what was yes. primarily our objective in that whole case, yes. to prove that dad was not yes. the guilty party. He's such a good driver, I mean, Nobody worried, you know, riding with him. And I was shocked. Yep. I'll forever be grateful for Robert and his team. We never had to be in the dark. We knew where we stood. I think all of us are grateful for Robert. But we promised Dad that we would get the truth. We got the truth with Robert. They get all the credit in the world for seeing this thing through from the beginning to the end and uh, being determined that they were going to clear Leo of having any fault for this accident. You have to go out to the scene, you have to look at all the pictures, you have to talk to all the people, you have to talk to all the witnesses. And we did that, we did that together. We learned relatively early on that it, it was a situation where the, the county was trying to just simply gloss over it and say, you know what? This elderly gentleman pulled out. It was his fault. The officer didn't do anything wrong. It was not at all the case. Lucille was offered a settlement. And uh, the settlement was what I would say, without describing the number, it was an acknowledgement that, okay, Leo was hurt, your husband was hurt, but we still don't think we did anything wrong. And that's what the size of the settlement said to her. At the end of the trial, we got more than five times the amount of that last offer. We were able to get the jury to see the truth, to know that there was uh, a cover-up or a, a glossing over of the, of the real facts and of the truth, justice prevailed. The family prevailed.